Hey guys, <laughs> so we're live. Um, gonna start uh, basically playing some MGO as always, and I'm just getting set up here, getting ready to go, and um, be able to start here very shortly. I'm just um, making sure I get the tweet out, and then we'll be playing uh, MGO all day long, um, hopefully until like, jeez, probably level <laughs> like 8 p.m. or so, at the very least. Um, so I've got about eight hours at the very least of uh, uh, playing MGO, so give me one more second here. Okay, so I just sent the tweet out, so that's done. Now I just gotta get the party together, so um, you might see a blue screen here for just a second uh, while I go ahead and make the uh, the party to get this um, private game going real quick. Just doing the whole thing where I have to invite people. Still inviting people real quick. Gotta do the second set of, uh, of invites real quick. <clears throat> okay, I think that's it. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start the game real quick. So feel free to join up on the the individual game uh, once it's up. Should be up in this a moment. Okay, there we go. Okay, just gonna settle in now. How's it going, Obi? Going, Leah. Yeah, I just got the the game started, so I'm still waiting for people to join up. Since I just started this uh, marathon.
<laughs> nice, homie. Sounds like a good combo to me. <laughs> Hobo in his box. We're just rolling now. All <laughs> oh, waiting for people to join up. What's up, Kenneth? How's it going? We're just waiting for people to join in on the game, so. We could kill each other, but it might be a waste. waiting for people to join in, that's why. So we're just like, well, at least Hobo's going off with his, his box sliding. The party just got um, started recently. Start sorting people in. Uh, for those that are actually watching currently, we do have the uh, party up, so feel free to join in if you, if you like. Yeah, it's always a fun time just waiting for the people to initially join up. Yeah, once we get this party like actually started and people are actually joining up, and it goes really quickly after that. But it's just the initial like that first game. <laughs> We're just getting people to join up is a little bit of a, of a little slog. Good fight. All you have to do is just um, 
invite me to your friends list or add me as your friend on, on uh, PSN. And then from there, you just join in the uh, party chat that I have open. And then you can join in the uh, the free free room. All you have to do is basically just join in for free room after um, adding me to your friends list and joining the party chat. My my uh, PSN name is actually in the social section of, of my Twitch page, so if you're looking for it, it's in there. Alright, added to you to my party, or added to you to my friends list. Now you should be able to join the, the party chat, because it's uh, open. And then um, from there you'll be able to join inside of uh, free play. Hey, Digit. I'm surprised that people haven't joined up a little bit quicker. <laughs> usually, if I, if I make a party, they're usually in here by like five minutes. It usually fills up pretty quickly. But yeah, I host these games for like ten hours a day, typically. And then I don't, I don't leave until then, until it's over. So that's a good way to get XP if you have a chance. I was just hiding somewhere. Yeah, so now that you're in the party, you can, you can join in uh, from free play. If you go into free play mode at MGO, um, you can join in from there. If you just press the uh, left uh, thumb pad and um, just hit join. It's either options button or you can do it by hitting the, the right part of it. It's pretty quick. Alright, so people are actually starting to join in.
Ultra Bomb. Ah, nice assassin. Yeah, I um, got to the max ascension rank on my, um, my enforcer, so I'm just trying to level up the scout now. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to use a servo, but I, I think I might never actually use it. <laughs> At least um, for the first three ascensions. Maybe because I'll just be ascending so shortly after. Yeah, yeah, I've seen people use it before and it seems pretty good. Flushy. It's a pretty good drop until I get some by the plushie. <laughs> People start joining up after the first round. Like this, so hopefully, in four minutes before starting to come in. Oh, there we go. There's there's some people that are more in my party. It's like you almost have to wait for the for the master server to start advertising the game, and then once it does, people file in super quick. I guess Fuzzy left.
Oops. <laughs> Had the wrong gun. This is a real, real round <laughs> since people are actually here. So, it's like it's starting to fill up really, really quickly. That's not. <laughs> Thank you. 
chance of any of this. On shotgun. I'll say that guy three times. See if I can pre-aim him, but I missed a little bit on that. That's really weak.
took us out both out at the same time. Scout rank, you mean level? Um, right now, I think I'm like 35 currently. I'm assuming that's what you mean, but instead of actual rank. Let me know which one you mean. Yeah, two more, two more uh, levels, yep. I probably won't use it before I ascend, though. Ascending is the priority, unfortunately. <laughs>
around. Well, somebody was, they just weren't paying attention. Never mind. Not surprised I won that one. <laughs> one second, I got somebody at the door. You did? Cool. Sorry about that, I had to stand for the door. But I'm back.
Yep, mortar is fun. <laughs> That's the lesson every time. Mortar's fun. No, not, not this time. I think I've given up sniping. This is scout, unfortunately. It's just too, um... It's just too hard to be consistent with it. This is the best for me. But I've never been a sniper, so that's probably why. warped. <laughs> he was one place and then all of a sudden he wasn't.
They probably do, but I'm just gonna play it like an enforcer going toward Sir. <laughs> Damn it. Go for it. This is that sniping is too consistent in terms of like kills per second. If that makes any sense. Make sure you can get like, you know, massive kill streaks every now and then with the sniper, but in most cases you're getting like maybe one every couple minutes. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably that's probably the case, sir. But sniping's never been my thing, so I'm not surprised that I can't really adapt to it because I just I've never really sniped in the game. I never played competitively as a sniper. Yeah, that could be the case too. I just don't really feel like there are any good places or opportunities to really snipe because the maps are really rather small, especially if it's on rush. There's no real no reason for it to snipe. Yeah, it's kind of weird too because sniping like should have the highest muzzle velocity, so you shouldn't have to deal with muzzle, uh, bullet drop as much over the same ranges. Taken here now, anyways.
Yeah, but it feels like the kind of thing that, like, snipers would probably be really good on PC. So once MGO comes out on PC, I think sniping will be become something much more desirable. But right now with the sway on sticks, it's just impossible to really get a good shot while moving. They're starting to drop out on their, their team. So I guess we're getting frustrated at dying. Oh! I thought that was like a tree or something. <laughs> like a tree stump. Sitting there walking right to him. I was like, what is that? And then by the time I said, like, what is that? I. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny because I came from, well, the last game that I, I played competitively was uh, Halo PC. And uh, on that, because of the, like, really crappy netcode, you also had to lead shoot, like, extremely long distances. Like, you had to, like, lead shoot, like, really, really far. I'm not talking, like, small distances, so it reminds me a lot of, like, the, the lead shooting that you'd have to do in this game. That's why I never sniped in that game. Yes, this is X. We, we, we see your heads. Ha ha ha! Is that like the the Newman head or whatever his name is? No, it's not apparently. Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Oh man, Halo CE. Yeah, uh, I will never buy another. Um, Gearbox software game ever again, thanks to fucking what's his name, the head of that company, Randy Fitchford, that asshole. Fuck that guy, seriously. He lies every time he fucks up a game. Like, every time that they screw up a game, like as a studio, and they don't devote enough resources to it, he always blames somebody else. It was first, like, Halo PC, then it, because it was Microsoft. And then it was Sega, and then it was whatever company that they worked with the last time. Like, every time that, that they do a freaking game, they always fuck it up, and they sit there and, like, blame somebody else for the reason why their game sucks. God, I get frustrated even talking about it. Give me a hand. Fuck that guy, seriously. <laughs> I don't feel passionately enough about any other person in the world as much as I feel like against Randy Pitchford. Seriously. <laughs> I hate that guy so much. I remember, like, the community in, in Halo PC when I, when I used to play it, um, on the last day of, um, 
of uh, CPL 2004, which is like one of the one of the lead um, like competitive gaming championships back then. Um, we, as a community, like the Halo PC community, got so frustrated at the shit because I literally, our team got knocked out because of like land lag, where somebody had was pl pressing the the um, the button to screenshot. And it's been a bug. It was a bug that like they had promised to fix for months on end. So we got knocked out by somebody pressing the, the, the print screen button while in the Warthog, and what it makes it do is it makes it basically like a lag switch, except it's in the game, and that they never fixed. So we lost, and we were knocked out of, of the championship because of that issue. And ever since then, um, I remember that, that moment. I still remember that moment, being like denied a championship prize. We, we were going in like this seed, you know, we're... we're about as good as like this, this, the first place team, and yeah. It, anyways, yeah, it still pisses me off to this day. <laughs> anyways, the entire the the entire like Halo PC community at the end of uh, that championship um, sat there and and broke their CDs together. A good like I don't know, sixty or so people at the championship decided to just break their CDs there. No, I didn't. No, I didn't get disqualified. They should have been disqualified. This is the other team that was using that. So they print screened like right as they were having the word hog, um, and so they were able to get the flag cap and at the last moment beat us by by using like a print screen button because it was a bug that they had never fixed. It basically caused lag on land. It was basically a lag switch, but it was inside the game. <laughs> but anyways, Rand Randy Pitchford um, came out like after that that event, and, like blamed Microsoft for all the problems, and that they were going to try to like make sure that everything was fixed through their Halo CE crap. And then they did that, and they still didn't fix it. And it's still as broken as it was without it being the custom edition. I still remember all that shit. It sucks. Anyways, that's why, that's why I'll never buy another without, um, Gearbox software game ever again. Because of all the lies <laughs> that company decided to shell out in, in the face of, like, Randy Pitchford. See you, Stommy. Have a good one. Sorry, I got on, I got on a tangent with Gearbox. I apologize about talking about like lane times. This is Gearbox. Let's have fun with them, Geo. <laughs> I don't even remember what got me on that tangent. <laughs> I think it was talking about snipers and lead shooting.
you know, with, without like, without gaming becoming like more of a community and and being a lot more open as of late, um, and fans deciding to make it open on their own end, you know, we wouldn't be able to know like all like half the shit that goes down. You know, you would just be essentially just taken for whatever we have every time with Ubisoft and Gearbox and like every freaking company out there. Yeah, the pre-sequel stuff, like uh, OpenG, I remember they, they bring that on the company that they outsourced it to. Just like every step of the way, Gearbox just blames everybody else for their problems. Exactly, open G. <laughs> I'm convinced that half the time the community managers or like PR guys are usually just the guys that are the shills for the company and just basically offer themselves on the chopping block at the end of the day. As soon as they make some misstep or get like, you know, ang like the community angry, they usually get axed by, by the CEOs or people in charge. And then they go like, oh no, no whatever that guy said was, was bad. They just use it as to like, kind of like shift the blame so that nobody gets actually in trouble. God forbid you be accountable. Headshots on Ocelot, but I kill him. Guy takes headshots like a champ. Luckily, luckily, if you don't live in the EU, is basically what they're saying. Or you know, a, a country that doesn't that has metered internet, yeah, that, that shit annoys me. Yeah, a friend of mine used to live in um, New Zealand and Auckland, and I'm just going there for school, and I always used to like tell me 
like how much he pays in internet and I was just disgusted because he would have to like share it with his roommates and like they would have to be like allocate like gigabytes per, per person <laughs> between each other and like they have to watch it like watch what people use like it's a faucet like it's a water tap or something <laughs> I would hate to have to live like that. I can't even relate to, to that, unfortunately. I have, um... Well, now I have gigabit and ethernet with, uh, Google uh, fiber here in Austin. And I think I use on the order of, like, I'd say, like, 300 gigabytes a week in data. Just just in my household alone, we're only three people. Uh, two of us, you know, stream, but besides that, like, the rest is pretty much me. And it's primarily because I watch everything Help online, me. so... Help me. Help me. <laughs> yeah, Comcast wants to. I remember when I used to live in South Florida, they were always wanting to talk about like doing meter internet. They were always like warn that they're gonna do it. They never did it, but at least not where I lived. But yeah, even in, like, slow internet-wise here in, in Austin, um, the slowest internet that's provided is um, Time Warner. I think that, like, is... they still provide, like, 300 megabyte down. And that's the slowest, um, just thanks to Google Fiber coming in, in town. As soon as Google Fiber came in town, everybody that was um, a cable provider, like an internet provider, immediately bumped up their rates. It's like, oh, like night and day, like they just immediately upped it. It was hilarious. Uh, Verizon, AT&T, Time Warner, every, everybody decided that it was all of a sudden economically viable for them to, to up their rates, their speeds. It's funny what happens when they have competition. I mean, hell, half the time you can't even apply for a job anymore without internet. It's like it's required, like, if I go into a, like, a retail house and ask them if they're, if they're looking for, for workers, they'll just tell me, go online to our website. You can't even really door knock anymore. $15 a month? That's that's less than I pay. I pay $70 a month, but that's for um, internet and cable with a gigabit internet. Oh my God. I'm trying to escape these guys, but it seemed like every time I went somewhere there was somebody else. Oh, I thought I was in the doorway. Shit. <laughs> Scared on 15. Uh, I was trying to escape because I spawned in a terrible spot, but that did not work. <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily agree with all of Bernie Sanders' politics, but. I certainly admire his, uh, consistency. Uh, believe me, I'm not gonna get into politics as far as, like, stream or any anything goes, so... 
Don't expect me to discuss my political beliefs. <laughs> That's only because both sides would hate me because, well, I don't agree with either side, typically. <laughs> Some weirdo in the middle. Brain fart moments. Yeah, I saw him on Bill Moore. I actually have HBO, so I saw him there. Yeah, real quick. That's what we call infiltrator denial. is getting a lot of Fulton cannons though off of our team. I'm just trying to save people. That was bad. That could have been so much better. Oh my god, frame rate. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> the moans in this game are ridiculous. I would say that the moans are inappropriate. <laughs> Nobody moans like that when they get knocked out. Oh man. <laughs> the Randy. <laughs> Maybe I will. What's up, blood? How's it going? Oh. Help me. 
Oh, shut up. I dodged away. <laughs> oh, such garbage. I'm not too big of a fan of the ones where, like, I dodge out of it and then just get pulled back in. <laughs> it's like the tractor beam in Star Trek. I don't get credit for it. I assume that somebody else shot it and got the credit or something. But sometimes I've been around and I'll be the only one around and I still don't get credit for it. It's weird. I think me and China would mix very well. Mainly because I have terrible lungs. My asthmatic cough would probably become asthma in China. Depends on the kind of monopolies. Monopolies are harder to find. Um, they have to be certain qualifications that they have to meet to be a monopoly. It's a little harder to, to actually, you know, figure out. I love Monopoly, like the, the board game. I wish I wish I had more people to play board games with in real life. Like I, I remember when um, there was that craze for. Uh, so I have it here somewhere. In the back. I forget. Oh, Cards Against Humanity. And I bought that and realized immediately that I have no friends. <laughs> so. I did. Nice, nice kill top. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would ever do that.
It's whoever gets the bank though, you always know is just cheating anyways. They're always like pocketing some money. At least that's all how I always did it as a kid. I don't know how he ended up with so much money. Well, that's because I was taking like a hundred bucks every two seconds. Systematic. I think, well, I, I play constantly for most of the day. Um, and then sometimes I actually play when when uh, the stream's not on for a little bit, for like maybe one or two games, typically at night. And then I have the double XP buff and the custom matches that I, that I play in typically will give me more XP as well. So. Bloodbox. <laughs> yeah, there. It, it's funny too because there were there's what I like to call there was um, monopoly families, and we definitely were a monopoly family um, as a kid. And then there was the uh, the risk families, and the risk risk families were far more serious about it. But I, I always thought because I had a couple friends that were risk families. CAH is uh, Cards Against Humanity. Basically, a friendly card game. Uh, the term friendly used, you know, sarcastically. Oh. oh, you got the XP boost? Uh, you should be able to download it, systematic. Yeah, I've seen those things around. There we go. Yeah, but yeah, systematic. If you look on the the store page and look at the add-ons list uh, for stuff under underneath the um, Metal Gear Solid, you should be able to find the XP boost in there. It's free for everybody who's who bought the game this month, so you should be able to get it regardless of uh, pre-ordering. You actually don't have to pre-order at all to get it. No, not, there's nothing to counter the fluffy puppies, unfortunately, as far as I know. Except shoot them. You can shoot the, the puppies, but that's about it. Uh, it's supposed to last three weeks, Rio. As far as I know, they, they updated it from... Um, ah, it's a bigger day in the first time. Um, it's supposed to last, well, it was supposed to last two weeks, and then they upped it from two weeks to three weeks because of the initial launch uh, week being crap. That's a lot of XP from being marked.
Being trapped in here. Mission a barrel. Oh! Trying not to get my butt killed a thousand times or tapped. Yeah, I expect it's a fallout to get me at least until January, if not longer. And then, you know, whenever I finally end up getting, um, you know, overwatched, that, that'll be for the foreseeable future after that. I, I cannot freaking wait for overwatch. So, I'm super excited about it. And then, assuming, like, sometime in summer of next year, uh, Crowfall should be close to launch, and then I'll be playing that. Uh, I'm trying to, Jay. It's mainly because I hate, I hate shaving. Um, my beard typically will, well, when I try to shave it, it I get a lot of snags, even no matter, like, if it's, um, it's a straight play, it doesn't matter basically the razor that I use, it's always a pain in the butt. Because I have a bunch of bumps underneath here that I get snagged on, no matter what I use. So I just don't like shaving because of that. Please test the anti-material. I don't think I have it yet. Well, I don't. I don't have it on a loadout at the moment, so I would have to go all the way back to the to the menu to, to test it. And if I go back to the menu, I'm going to have to ascension instead, uh, unfortunately. <laughs> Occupy with the guy in front of me and not the one that was right on top of me. Gun punch. Hooray. Uh, I don't think you can for your first character. Yeah, I think you have to actually make a character. Uh, itchy. Or, or maybe, sorry. Yeah. 
Thought I was far enough away from that. here. It's both ways through the wall. Yeah, you would have to actually start it again, so I, I would recommend creating a female character for your second character, for like your scout or whatever other character that you don't have currently. At least that's how I would do it. I have actually two female characters, one for my infiltrator and one for my uh, scout. My enforcer is the stock character. Next might be right about that, yeah. Oh, I understand that, yeah. I I really like the multiplayer, so um, I burnt myself out of, of the single player. So I'm not surprised. How you doing? That was a weird game. That one was kind of strange. Have to go back to. I'm gonna have to go back to the main menu guys for quick to send. So. Give me one second. Just one second. <laughs> I hate fighting against teams of infiltrators. It actually Fulton and Bounty Hunter. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see I got all paranoid and started setting up Fulton cannons everywhere in the second round? Yeah, that one was kind of weird. Uh, what's her name? Kept, kept uh, Fulton canning people? Or Fulton punching? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, like, I wish I could land Fulton punches that consistently. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to start the game back up real quick. Alright. But let me, let me invite people first before I do that. Just in case there are people that are looking to get in.
Oh, cool. Yeah, no problem. You would expect that, yeah. But it's Konami, you know. All right, I'm gonna start the game now again. All right. Sweet. <coughs> Ascension 1 with my scout. Now I got another two more to go. <laughs> Unfortunately, hacks. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going on Ascension rather than doing. <laughs> Should probably make some of you guys mods again, because it doesn't seem like my mods that I that I picked initially aren't really uh, around much anymore. So I'm just gonna make a couple people random mods. And you guys feel free to to ban you know people who are um, you know spamming and stuff. So there you go. There's three. How's it going, Foxing? Good to see you again. Just so you guys can ban, like, spammers or whatever, you know, if they come in. Because it seems like I'm getting spammed a lot more as of late than I used to. So I could use some help on just spamming, you know, banning the spammers. So there you go. If you see one, feel free to ban. How's it going, Kerr? Oh, really, Axe? I haven't actually um, figured out a, a good blacklist to use yet. Yeah, I usually try to, to off people who are here a lot, so... I'm not as super exclusive on it <laughs> as other people. <laughs> Bear back when I go use uh, just go get some something to drink real quick. I'm just gonna get some water while this loads up. Yeah, you should be able to, to ban people now. Uh, nugget. Obviously, the only people that I technically want people banning are, you know, spammers or besides that, you know. If someone's, like, super argumentative, then, yeah. Basically, obvious trolls and spammers. Just like to have some people, you know, have access to it in case, you know, it happens when I'm not looking. Sure, yeah. I mean, PM me, PM me a link, um, hack so I don't lose it. Don't, like, um, send me a message, but, like, actually send me, like, the Twitch um, private message so I can just keep track of it.
I got stunned by the box. Box done. Nice. Cool. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Axe. Huh. That's interesting, Foxy. <laughs> it must be annoying to, to be in the game with that. And now I look like Chewbacca. Chewbacca with a hood. Being a Star Wars, anybody, I'm guessing everybody's already seen the trailer, but it was awesome. Just want to say that. Really enjoyed it. There's a lot in that trailer that if you look too too long, you can really spoil the movie for yourself. <laughs> just going to say that. There's a lot of stuff in that trailer that, you know, is a potential spoiler. If you look too much. There's like one part in particular that I'm thinking that... Is it seems like it's going to be like one of the most emotional uh, touchstones in the movie, and it, yeah, they, they kind of show it a little bit. Yeah, I haven't bought tickets yet. I think I'll just go like early, early in the morning, like the day of release. Like the first first showing, yeah. I can't imagine that they would all be sold out, like on the first day. Jeez. Yeah, I live in Austin, so I would assume that they would be pretty popular for tickets. Austin's kind of like nerd capital. And I obviously contribute to that, being a nerd. I don't, I don't mind having to like see it like you know midday like one of the one of the like you know in the middle of work day but okay maybe then I don't have luck <laughs> maybe it'll maybe it'll all be sold out for a bit Does anybody in Albuquerque call it the AQB? 
or the Kirky. If not, then that's a missed opportunity. Fox lights. Oh, oh. oh, they're already $100 million worth of sold tickets. Wow, that's awesome. It looks great. I mean, the trailer looks amazing. I spent like four years of my life running a Star Wars um, fan site for a game that was based on Star Wars and we got to like one million uniques a month, every month. Um, it was funny, but, you know, kind of watching that, it's like, Star Wars is back in my life, apparently. <laughs> Oh, it's ABQ. Uh, well, my bad. But they call it the quirky. The quirky. The quirky. That's the real push. Yeah, po pose. Yeah. Yeah. Which one is Poe Dameron again? I forget. See, like, that weird alien that's a Jar Jar reference? What is <laughs> Sopo doing? Wow, that was, that was hilarious. Oh, the X-Wing pilot, okay. Cool. I don't know if you guys um, saw it, but if you actually freeze frame the trailer, you can um, see like that they kind of like superimpose like a model. There's like an actual model there, but they superimpose a CG over it. So they're actually using practical effects for for the uh, for the stuff, which is obviously what they've already said for for quite some time. But it was neat to kind of see like their process on it. Like if you actually pay attention to it, you can see. <laughs> when the balloon fiesta's going on, it's... oh crap! I saw that just Help me. a little bit too late. Help me! Help me! Help me! Nugget. I don't know, Austin, uh, I think, competes for the worst drivers, to be honest. drivers hit park cars. There's plenty of people that do that down here. Our city is the most drunk city in the entire, well, the most drunk driving city in the entire United States is Austin. So. You should feel confident in buying this game, though, um, Larry, regardless of what you think of single player Metal Gear, if that's not your thing. It's still a great value. Get a good good value for your money. I got like a hundred hours out of the the single player. And then um, quite a bit more out of out of FOB and then um, even even more out of MGO. Oh. Help me. 
<laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I've never been to Milwaukee. I thought that was like a like a, a stat that like Austin actually won was that was for the most drunk city and drunk driving city in the entire like union. I could be wrong. I have to say, uh, I don't know, difficulty-wise I actually felt that I didn't really feel that, that the game ever really ramped up, so to speak. Thing that it's kind of weird. Yep, I got the gilly. The gilly! This one doesn't seem, though, that it's, um, as camo-ness because of the hat, and then also the... it doesn't seem like the trees or the grass comes off as high as the actual grass, or as, as the male version. At least it doesn't to me. It doesn't feel like it. going on. Uh, you can expect that role plays as a bush. Nice. Nice how it Yeah, they're all they're all cosmetics. They have no stats attached to them. Axe, unfortunately. Yeah, Wookie we'll Bush some later. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I guess I didn't do the S ranks um, at Tarakas because I actually never did the S ranked versions of those missions. So I guess that's why. Yeah, I, I just never aimed for the for the S ranks. If that makes any sense.
Like, I thought some of the subsistence ones were really fun. I wish I would have had more subsistence missions. You know, like the ones where you have to, like, basically get all your gear on site. That stuff was really fun. I, I enjoyed those missions. And they were actually rather hard. Yeah, the, the mission tasks are like one of the reasons why I never tried to do it on S rank. I thought that if I was going to go back in S rank, and then I was going to have to do all the mission tasks, because, you know, just from a completionist standpoint, if I'm going like, you know, if I'm going to decide to go all the way for that, then I'm going to decide to go all the way. Yeah, I just didn't, I had no interest in doing that, so I never did them. I never attempted to try to do them on this rank because of that. Chewbacca roaring at a puppy? Why would you roar at a puppy? That's not nice. Looks like we finally got people in here now, so it should go quicker. Yeah, I know. I saw some some stock about you know just going full on out, and still getting S ranks, but I never experienced that myself. Usually, when I was getting the S ranks, um, this is a really good mission. You know, I got them randomly, like quite a few of them S ranks, but without really even trying. Try using the sniper again. A little bit. She thought the second chapter was the strongest out of the two. At least that was just my opinion. 
thought the first chapter was a little too um, slow. And the second one kind of ramped up and there was a lot more seriousness about it. Yeah, that or he has MVG. You don't do the repeat missions, Itchy. That, that's that's the problem that everybody kind of makes with, with um, Chapter 2. So they do the, the repeat missions. You're not supposed to do the repeat missions initially. It's kind of their fault for, for placing them there in line, but, but yeah, you don't, you're not supposed to do the repeat missions. What's up, Fruit? How's it going? So if you skip the repeat missions and keep going, you can still progress the story without having to do the repeat missions. I left the repeat missions uh, myself until last, so... Just gonna go back to using the AR. Starting with the the new presets kind of sucks. I'm reminded about why I had issues with the scout initially with these presets. I usually just use um, lethal aim and sniper, and that's pretty much it. The rest kind of just bonuses. Yeah, he has a VG, that's why. That's why you see me.
And he's using the glitch gun. He just disappeared. Love the the lag. Like the teleportation and disappearing axe. It's one of the most frustrating things about the game. I guess. I guess I was marked. Take a new spawn, I guess. Grenades. Help me. Help me. No one's around. Like one of the biggest problems I have in the game. I don't even know what they're doing, really. But we're still winning, so I don't know how that's the case. Puppy didn't snare him.
as I was about to pull the trigger. Been streaming for actually more for more than fifteen days. Been streaming for like two months now, straight almost. If you count the FOB stuff, it shouldn't be, buddy. Because right now I'm looking at a stream that's pretty much perfect on my end. Some people have a better time watching the stream once the quality buttons come in, so that could be the case if your your um, ISP isn't good. Screen kept shaking there. Couldn't get a shot off. I'm starting to catch up now. This unfortunately is the only loadout that I have that has MBG at the moment. This is still like level one. in the sky real quick so I can shoot down the balloon. chance to do so without getting shot up. <laughs> it's like their entire team that's right there. <laughs>
The loadouts you have when you start off definitely suck for scout. Wow. I was before this, this, uh, before ascending, but I don't have any good loadouts currently. Now I'm back to, like, noob mode. Yeah. I normally do, Blood, but um, I was having problems seeing over the, the building for the people that were uh, lower on the on the floor, but yeah, like there were there were people that were actually right below the the container that I was trying to shoot at there for a bit, so that's the reason why I was standing up. This will actually be my last match for a little bit because I gotta take care of something um, real quick after this match. I have to go run like a quick um, personal errand. Probably use that time to go eat as well. At least I got Ocelot to go out on. <laughs> well, according to people online, that's, uh, that's a bug with Ascension 3. It just automatically does that a lot to people. According to what people say online. It does. I received all the lot unlocks, so... Definitely does give you the unlocks because I, I, I had the bug and I got the unlocks on my enforcer. And it happened like when I was level four.
Not much. What's up, Foster? How you doing? Seven point loss a lot. Good old ricochet boss. everything in. Yeah, apparently I could use them. Crap. Yep, yeah, they're, they're homing bullets of people mark. Uh, the people, they, they basically, the ricochets go straight at them. It basically homes and locks on them as soon as they're marked. So if uh, teammates are throwing the e-locators, it's so OP along with the boss lot. Especially if they're like all in like the same location. actually do it.
and then finding the, the place that you need to shoot at so that it actually ricochets to them. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of hard to actually find a surface that would be in their direction, because you actually have to figure out where it would ricochet off. Because it's like a straight shot to it. It's not just like it just doesn't find like the place it needs to go. Unless it's like directly straight to them. It also seems like it gets more difficult at range. I don't know if that's just, you know, me or what, what's going on with that, but, but yeah, it seems like it's, it becomes more difficult to actually do at range. See, like right now I'm trying to find a surface to shoot off of, but coming up blank. Oh, that's just mortar or spam. Yeah, I just put that at range. Yep. 30 and taken. There we go. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't win that one. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, it has to be in like a, a straight direction of where it hits. It has to be like within view, so like wherever it hits, it then targets the, the closest marked target, and then goes straight for them. So if it's not in like a straight line, like some objects is um, obstructing them, they won't be hit by it. So you can often like you know hide behind a piece of furniture or something, you know, cause it to bounce or get hit or stop. So. It's really great though when people market some of them all at once. The nun gun. I spawned on a buddy, but apparently I came back here. Um, I don't want to have a song request. I don't have a bot at the moment. And since I export this whole to YouTube, I want to do things. <laughs> Sorcerers. <laughs> yep. Clearly. Oh. That was a mess of a comp station there. I'll probably just stay back and then just offer support through my ricochets. Instead of trying to take the individual points themselves. Somebody mark somebody. Oh, he's dead. I don't know why that guy's using the sleep grenade launcher on, on the map where you should go to the command points, but I guess it would work okay, but 
kind of feel like there's better options available. Unfortunately, no, we can't trust it. This is all I got available, so. So I usually go with Omni. On to glory, on to glory, on to glory, on to glory. That's usually what I go with. But. Oh, there's so many there. Come on, Ricochet. Give me something. Does, but does his does his gun ricochet with the, the shield one? Oh, okay, I'll try that one. That one he gets five. Wow. I don't know why I wasn't using shield ocelot before this point, but all right. Well, now I know. Three deaths have been to stun grenades. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. Like, had no time to use my guns. Now you can't play as Miller. Unfortunately. Just got hit and headshotted by a Elo character. 
Or at least I think I did. behind that rock. Not in front of it, apparently. Somewhere. Yeah, of course, he's using the nun gun. The glitch gun. So, I really like Snake. Oh, oh somebody shot. Nice.
Yeah, still did pretty well. Ah, we won. <laughs> Barely. Barely. About like 30k. That's good stuff. I said it was the last game. <coughs> yeah. No, no, you got the XP. You get it. You get it as soon as you hit that that uh, thing. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it for the night, and or not not for the night. I mean, what am I saying? Sorry, misspeak. I'm gonna call it for a little, little bit, um, just so that I can go do uh, an errand real quick and then eat. So I'll be back probably in, in an hour, um, most likely less than an hour, but we'll have to see. Obviously, some it, it may take me a little bit longer than I expect, who knows. Um, but uh, regardless of that, thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll be back uh, here shortly. Look forward to seeing you guys all back and and in the chat um, You know when I return. It uh, shouldn't be too long. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys then. Bye-bye.